Have you ever seen an Instagram story and wondered, hey, how did they do that? Well, in today's video, I'm sharing with you my top 10 secrets for really cool Instagram stories. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Katie Steckley and here on my channel, I like to talk all things travel and filmmaking and of course, Instagram. So today, let's dive into my top 10 secrets for how to make awesome Instagram stories. These are probably some tips that you haven't heard before, so I'm excited to share them. Whenever I post this one on my story, I always get asked lots of questions about how to do this, so here we go. This is how you can get a full-size picture with a little tap here icon. I think usually people think there's some kind of function outside of Instagram that does it, but there's actually a very easy way to do it. So say you have a post that you wanna to share to your story, so we'll just go to my feed here and select my most recent post. And then I'm gonna press the share button and just click add to my story. So you're probably familiar with that. But what you can do here is just simply zoom into your picture until it fills the whole screen. So at this point, people won't know that you've like shared it from your feed because it just looks like an image. Then if we go to stickers and GIFs and then just search tap here, there's a ton of options that you can choose from. Um, let's see. I tend to use the same one every time because I like how it looks and I feel like it's getting less popular because it's lower down on the list. Okay, here we go. Normally I like to add a kind of teaser to the caption so that people have a reason to click on it. So that's on my story now and tap on the tap here, the see post thing comes up and then you can go straight to your post. Super straightforward, very easy to do, but I think a lot of people haven't realized that trick of just zooming in on the picture and it fills up the whole story. So here's another trick that you may have heard of before, but I'm actually surprised all the time how many people don't realize that you can do this. So all I'm gonna do is take a picture of my camera on my phone here and then open up the drawing tool and obviously you can swipe through and there's like a few different color options, but if you want unlimited color options, all you have to do is hold down and the whole spectrum comes up and you can choose any shade that you want. All right, the next tip is also color related and super straightforward, but it took me forever to realize that you could do this, so I'm gonna share it now. All you have to do to get an entire screen filled with color is select your brush, select the color you wanna use, tap and hold on the screen, and bam, you've got a solid color background, people. Then there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do if you wanna select the eraser and write something to reveal the photo you took, you can do that, all kinds of options. All right, another cool trick that I love to do is the drop shadow on text. So I'll show you how to do it once again, taking a picture of my camera setup, and then I'm just gonna write YouTube in all caps, cause that's the kind of style of text that I like. And I'm gonna use the strong because that's my favorite font on here. And so I've got my background. Now I'm just gonna literally write the same thing again. Um, it's easiest to do this if you don't readjust the size of the text, but if you do, you just have to make sure that you resize both to the same size. Then I'm gonna select my second one and I'm gonna make it this shade of red. And then I'm just gonna simply layer them on top of each other and there you go. You get a drop shadow, very easy. Now this is a really cool trick that I just learned recently, so I'm excited to show you. Basically, this is how you can make your text gradient or rainbow or whatever. So basically you're gonna, I keep saying basically too much. You're gonna select all of your text. You're going to tap and hold on whatever color you wanna start on. So I'm gonna start on this kind of like pink shade, I guess. Then you're gonna tap on the left-hand side selector and drag it essentially at the same time that you drag your finger along the color. And now you've got your gradient. Hopefully that makes sense. I, it, it's kind of a little, in terms of the fine motor skills, it's definitely something to uh, get used to, the sliding simultaneously thing. But once you do, it looks really cool, I think. So I'll just show you one more time with my hello here. So I'm gonna tap and hold on the yellow, tap and hold on this, and then drag it along. Super cute. I love the gradient look, and you can do it in a very small color spectrum or you could do the whole rainbow if you wanted, totally up to you. Time for a bonus tip for you. This is how to add spaces in the caption of your Instagram post. This is important because it comes into play with an Instagram story tip that I have coming right up after this. You just need to go to the link that I have in the description here about how to add spaces to your Instagram caption 
and scroll down until you see um, the step one heading. Essentially, there are like special space characters that work on Instagram. You can copy and paste them between these brackets, click copy, then head on over to the settings section of your phone, go to general, keyboard, and text replacement, and you can add a new one. Paste these special space characters into phrase and then make your shortcut something that you can remember like IG space, for instance, and then click save. Now, if we go back to Instagram and, you know, whatever, make a post, then you can just type IG space and you'll see that your suggestive text brings up that space. You're gonna click it and it adds in the space that you need to make a line break in your post. But make sure that after you select that in the suggestive text, click backspace once and then hit return. Because if you don't remove that automatic space that the suggestive type adds, it will not work. It took me ages to figure that out, but it's very important that the end of your line on Instagram does not have a space or else the line breaks get all screwed up. So heed that warning. Okay, now that we've got our automatic space set up, we can use that on Instagram stories to add a background to text that doesn't have that highlight feature. So we'll go back into stories again, take a random picture of the camera setup. And let's say I wanna write hello in like, you know, this all caps font that does not have the background color option. So I write it, cool. Now I'm gonna open up typing again and I'm gonna write in IG space like I just showed you. And in the middle, the suggestive text brings up that blank card, right? So now what I'm gonna do is switch to, let's say strong. And then I'm just gonna click white and then do the highlight. Now I'm just gonna backspace a little bit until I get it to be the size that it fits the text that I've already written. And then let's do like yellow for instance. And now I've got just a yellow box that I can put my hello in front of. So that's how you can add just a blank color box to the background of your text. All right, one more cool hack that I think will be useful for you. If you wanna answer multiple questions from one of those question boxes in one story image, here is a way that you can do it. So I'm on my story now and I've gotten some responses, so I'm just gonna go into that and click on Sarah's here and press reply. Click share response. Then I will take a quick picture. And I'm gonna move um, this right here. And say I wanna add another question to the same picture, right? You can't normally do that, but if you screenshot it and then press discard, basically what I can do is go into the next person's click share response, and then I'm gonna select this image that I just screenshotted, and now I adjust this little answer here. Okay, perfect. So now I can screenshot again. Ooh. And now I've got two, and then I'm just gonna click discard, and I'm gonna go out of this, and then I'm gonna reply to Danielle's here and press share response, and then I'm just gonna select the screenshot that I just took, and now I have three different questions all on one image that I could answer all of them at once rather than having so many different slides answering the same question. The next tip that I wanna give you is a super practical one and that is just to be aware of where the different functions and buttons on Instagram stories show up. So as I'm browsing through mine, you can see there is my name at the top. Sometimes I'll put certain things under my name intentionally if I don't want it to be obvious. Say I wanna throw a location tag on there and it doesn't really matter, but I just wanna like have the chance to appear in that location tag story. Sometimes I'll throw it underneath my name. Um, but in general, if you want people to be able to see stuff, make sure that it's not gonna show up underneath your name underneath the reply box at the bottom. Also, I have had this issue in the past. If you want to create a poll or something else that is interactive, don't put it too close to the left or right of the screen because as people try to tap their poll option, they will accidentally just skip to the next story. So that's just kind of a general tip. Think about where your different visual features are gonna go and if they're gonna be underneath something else interactive on the Instagram story interface. So here's another question that I received and that is how to share other people's Instagram stories to your own. So option one is if they tagged you, like in this example here, I can click add to my story and then I can basically 
resize it however I want to make it fit onto my story. If I want to share something from a story that I was not tagged in, let's just go to like this random bossy women one. I can just press and hold down until the username um, goes away and then I can just screenshot it and share that screenshot to my story. And when I share the screenshot, I can even tag the person that I shared it from if I want to get that interaction. And those are my top 10 secrets for making awesome Instagram stories. I hope you found that helpful or interesting, and I hope that there were some that I mentioned that you haven't heard before. If there's one in this video that you hadn't heard of, then let me know in the comments below which one it was, because I want to know how common these tips are. In general, Instagram stories is a super fun way to communicate with your audience, your community, and your friends, and so I hope that you can do it in a fun and creative way. If you want to see some more Instagram tips from me, then check out this video on how to take photos of yourself. No photographer needed for your Instagram feed, but before you go, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I post every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I love to talk about travel, filmmaking, and my life as a freelance videographer. As always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!